This is your CBS 46 News update. I'm Rick Folbaum. Tonight, new executive orders are in effect to help cushion the financial blow for people looking for cheap gas after hackers forced a massive gas pipeline to shut down. Earlier today, this QT bagged all pumps and posted no gas signs. As a result, there are some tense and chaotic moments for those running on empty. Just down the street on Peachtree Parkway, the racetrack did have fuel. So as you can imagine, drivers scrambled to fill up, but there were long lines at each pump. It's in response to the cyber attack that shut down much of Colonial Pipeline's network, which provides fuel for up to 45% of the East Coast. The pipeline is expected to be back up and running by the end of the week. Well, if they're talking about the lines won't come up to the end of the week, I'm thinking the best scenario is gonna be to have everybody stay at home, which we do have practice staying at home, right? but I think that's gonna probably be the best scenario so that we don't cause more problems. Grand juries have indicted the man accused of killing eight people at spas in Atlanta and Cherokee County back in March. Fulton County prosecutors say they will seek the death penalty for Robert Long. He'll also face hate crime charges. Six of the eight victims were of Asian descent. A restaurant owner has died after a meat cooker blew up at a restaurant in Tucker. This all happened at the Main Moon restaurant on How Hugh Howe Road. For now, investigators think the explosion was an accident. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.